Ms. Hurd testified that Mr. Depp was able to get his hands in her hair, yank her, and then hit her in the face with the cast he had on. But you heard from Ms. Lloyd and Dr. Colbert, Mr. Depp's medical doctor, who treated Mr. Depp's finger injury, that Mr. Depp's finger was in a delicate state. He had a pin in his finger, a skin graft, and a soft cast that immobilized Mr. Depp's two middle fingers. And tellingly, the only picture of an injury from this incident is of Mr. Depp with a shiner. And then we have May 21st, 2016. Ms. Hurd testified that Mr. Depp threw a phone at her face causing a visible injury. Ms. Hurd has shown you pictures she claims to show this injury. But these photographs are not to be trusted. You heard from Mr. Neumeister that like many of the photographs Ms. Hurd has presented in this case, these photos were stored in a photo editing application. And these photos show signs of manipulation. These two photographs were taken at the exact same time and have the exact same file name. But they are visually different. One shows significantly more redness on Ms. Hurd's face than the other, which doesn't show any injury at all. Ms. Hurd testified the difference is explained by turning on a light. But there is no way Ms. Hurd could have taken a picture, turned on a light, and then taken another picture with every hair in the exact same place within the same second. It's impossible. Moreover, you heard from multiple witnesses, including Officer Melissa Sines, Officer Tyler Haddon, and Officer William Gatlin, Isaac Baruch, Alejandro Romero, who saw Ms. Hurd on or after May 21st, and saw no injuries to her face before she showed up to that courthouse with a mark on May 27th. And the very next day after Ms. Hurd walked into court, with what appeared to be a bruise on her face to obtain a domestic violence restraining order against Mr. Depp, Ms. Hurd was photographed laughing with her best friend, fresh-faced, with no bruise on her face. The mountain of evidence that Mr. Depp abused Ms. Hurd is simply not there. What we have is a mountain of unproven allegations that are wild, over the top, and implausible. And you can't pick and choose which of these wild allegations to believe and which ones to disregard. You either believe all of it or none of it. Either Mr. Depp sexually assaulted Ms. Hurd with a bottle in Australia, or Ms. Hurd got up on that stand in front of all of you and made up that horrific tale of abuse. Either she's a victim of truly horrific abuse or she is a woman who is willing to say absolutely anything. It is disturbing to think that Ms. Hurd would make up the horrific tales of abuse that she testified to in this courtroom. But this case doesn't come down to whether you believe Ms. Hurd or you believe Mr. Depp. This case comes down to whether you believe Ms. Hurd or you believe Mr. Depp, Christy Dombrowski, Sean Bett, Malcolm Connolly,